The 2016-17 budget provides few surprises on the health front, but the federal government has used it to announce two key committees that will impact on private health care. The committees on health insurance and prostheses will shape a great deal of discussion for the next three years. A private health sector committee with 12 members representing private hospitals and consumers, amongst others, will be charged with advising the government on private health insurance reform. I'm pleased that private hospitals are named as being an important part of this committee. Over three years, the committee will cover a range of issues, including ensuring products meet consumer needs, improving understanding of products by reducing confusion, and restoring Australians' faith in the value of their private health insurance. The membership of the Private Health Sector Committee indicates a range of views and advice will be involved, which we believe will result in a good outcome for consumers. Including industry specialists and consumer expertise will mean that reforms can be developed through consensus, delivering better outcomes without unintended consequences. It's important Australians have access to the best possible care through the private system if they choose it. We've already proposed a range of measures to improve the value of health insurance, and we look forward to working with the government to put these in place. In addition, the work of the Prosthesis Working Group, chaired by Professor Lloyd Sansom, will be developed and extended. A reconstituted Prosthesis List Advisory Committee will work with government towards delivering a more sustainable pricing model for medical devices. We think this is a sensible approach to managed reform. APHA is less happy with the decision to extend the pause in indexation of the private health insurance rebate thresholds. This will now be in place until 2020, a total of six years since it began in 2014. The government aims to save around $370 million through this measure, but it effectively means that through bracket creep, an increasing number of Australians will be entitled to a lower health insurance rebate, or in some cases, no rebate at all. The expected end of Health Workforce Australia funding for clinical placements at the end of this year is also a disappointment. And there are some areas where we have more questions to ask including moves to take out obsolete MBS items from the MBS schedule and the move to invest more heavily in MBS compliance. As usual, APHA will develop a more in-depth analysis of the federal budget and we'll send that out to members in coming days.